still. And Valerie, I know I'm not supposed to have uh, favorites of my own, but I can't help it. <laughs> this, this item, I am a customer as well as a program host. When you launch these, I had the toughest decision of which one to get, so we wound up buying two of them. I, to me, this is what a child sees at Christmas. You know, everything's bigger when you're a kid. And I remember going downtown, Indianapolis, to a place called Sabloski's. It was a department store. And mashing my little nose up against the window at their window display, which had reindeer that moved. It was magical. These scenes remind me of that. And when Valerie first launched these, we had 250,000 QVC customers who picked them up. They don't take up a lot of real estate, but from every angle you look at them, they are magic. Look at the detail work. These are made of a heavyweight material. These weigh in at over three pounds per piece. They operate on batteries, and you'll need to pick the batteries you're up yourself. I gotta look, I can't remember what they are. I'm sure Valerie remembers. Uh, mm -hmm. It is three C cell batteries. But then they light up with an automatic timer and you created all these different scenes. You brought back the single most popular ones that you ever did, but you brought us a whole bunch of brand new ones as well. So Valerie, can we take them just one at a time and share them with our audience? Absolutely. I'll let you walk through, Dan. I'm, I'm right with you. Okay. This is the cottage. That's the gingerbread cottage. That, that is available and will ship right away. Look at how that glitter is constantly floating. So it becomes like a snow globe. You don't shake up. But it's a winter wonderland. And we have bright lights in the studio, but you can still see how it's lit from within. You should see what this looks like in a darkened room when it's the only light in the room. It is magical. Look at that. The detail work of the scrolling makes it look like old cast iron. It's one of my favorite things you ever created. This one, I don't see this lasting the day. That's your Christmas church with the nativity. That has been the most popular one. By the way, those snow-capped trees, that's all hand-painted. I love how the church is just a little askew so that it gives a, a perception of depth and the height of that steeple. Look at that. <laughs> you also give us brand new, a town square with the Christmas tree, the village, the villagers. There's less than 3,000 of those that are even available. The next one is called Making a Snowman. And that's exactly what these two are doing. Look at the face. These are very small characters, but you can see the expression on the puppy dog's face and on the children's <laughs> face. Oh. oh, that must have been Carolyn Gracie approved, Dan. I think so. I agree. <laughs> this next one is a must have. This will go on my mantelpiece, and it's the nativity, the creche that. Valerie, I, I truly applaud you. This is so well done. There are 1,200 uh -huh. of the nativities available, and that's it. But the way that glitter floats, listen, I know it doesn't snow in Bethlehem, but that is magical. Mm -hmm. And the next two, equally as so. This is Santa with one of his reindeer. I won't tell you which one, but look, classic Santa. You, you are an absolute artist with Christmas trees. You really are because you make them whimsical and so well done. And then I got to tell you, Valerie, I saw this one and I, I actually got choked up. 
Oh, Dan. I know that red truck. I know it well. And I love that you put not just Christmas trees, one in the back of the truck, but that you also did that one white birch tree behind it. And you've got to see this one from a distance. <laughs> it's, that is glorious. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Oh, thank so you. So that is our choices. We've got one, two, seven pieces. You've got one there that I haven't even seen, and that's the we horse do. barn. We do, Dan. The Kentucky girl in me just couldn't resist. Uh, look at that barn, classic red barn. Look at the horse in the barn. Just that half door open, that half Dutch barn door. I love it. The children are out front building a snowman, the beautiful trees, and then that swirling glitter giving you this wonderful sense of snow. There's even a lamp post by the barn that has a little, um, a little wreath on it. These scenes in miniature have this wonderful preciousness to them. Uh, and I just, I love that what we did is we retired everything last year yep. except for the church and gingerbread and all of the other scenes are brand new so if you bought our santa last year we have a new santa for you with his deer if you bought the snowman last year the snowman family we have the snowman the children building the snowman this year oh and yes the barn, it has a snowman too, don't forget. So, and then you asked for the Holy Family Nativity and what you're looking at on your screen right now, the town square. Dan, I've got to give a, a, a shout out to your buddy, uh, David Venable, because David is the one who came to me and said, I would love to see oh. a town square uh -huh. inside the lantern. Could you create a town square scene? And so this one, the red truck you inspired, the town square, David inspired. It's, it's funny. It's, if you could see musical notes, I don't mean on a written page of, of music, literally see the notes in the air. These are very silent. They make no noise whatsoever, but I can hear the caroling. When, oh. I, when I see the red truck, there is a certain sound of the silence of snowfall. You see it. When you see the nativity, you can, mm -hmm. you can almost picture in your mind the, the baying sound of the lamb that he's holding in his, in his arms. This, they're, it's so easy to draw you in. And it yeah. makes you look, as an adult, I'm a 59-year-old guy. This made me look at them through the eyes of a child. Oh, and that's that. exactly what we mm -hmm. wish for at Christmas time. Yes. Th these are yes. magic. Valerie, I, you know, I never thought of them as a collectible, but I bought two different ones last year. I will, I will pick up a couple more this year. Uh, three of anything is a collection. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. The perfect number, Dan. Yes. You know, I love um, so many things I love about being part of the QVC family. And one of the things that I especially love is being able to connect with you more directly than ever before. And one of the nice things about being at home is I get to invite you into my home. But this nativity, Dan, was purely customer request last year. Like, we love the church. We love the church. Could you bring us a nativity? So I love responding to what you're looking for. Uh, Valerie, the horse barn that we're showing right there, last call already. The nativity. Oh my goodness. The nativity, last call. Valerie's big show is coming up tonight at 8 p.m. This, this was a little sneak peek early in the morning. If these sell out, we don't, there's no way we're getting a reorder back in between now and Christmas. It, it's not possible. So let's take a few seconds and we'll go through each one once again. But I want you to notice little tiny subtleties in detail. Instead of the window being a square, take a look at how the edges are fluted. How you see that scroll work at the top. The way you see a little bit of antiquing in it as well. This is the gingerbread cottage. How beautiful is that? Look at the gumdrops on the roof line and the happy little gingerbread person. That's cute. The church is a returning favorite. 
but that will be limited here soon. Also, by the way, little touches of, of gold to make it look like old fashioned wrought iron. And these are heavy. They weigh over three pounds. Here is that Newtown Square, inspired again by, by David Venable and his desire to see this piece made. Look at all the different colors and know that they have to be hand painted. The yellow in the windows, the little touches of green on these wreaths, that there's so much tiny, tiny detail. And the way, the way that that glitter floats. The next one is building a snowman. The lighting is really interesting because I can't tell if it's lit from above or below, Valerie. Ah, uh, very nice. Actually, actually, Dan, it's lit from above. Okay. And then you have the wonderful fan that's keeping that beautiful glitter suspended, and it's the glitter that's actually catching the light. That's what makes this such a dynamic decoration, um, particularly as the lights come down, because you are just drawn to the scene because of the illumination. Um, just room, room crossing, um, never disappoint. Yeah. Uh, beautiful holiday decoration. And what a lovely gift for those of you that want to share um, the story, the real story of Christmas with a nativity or share that church or you have a snowman collector on your list or someone who loves Santa Claus or, you know, those of you that love your gingerbread kitchens. Oh my goodness, to have that gingerbread scene in your gingerbread kitchen. It just, there is a scene for every every room. Valerie, I have no idea why we think of the Victorian age as the perfect frozen moment in time for Christmas, but mm -hmm. we, we do. Yes. You know, uh, it, it, this looks Victorian. The, the shape of the windows that are cut out on each one, that the scroll work that you did in these to make it look again like, like an old cast iron radiator <laughs> on the yes. details that I, I, it's perfect that's santa and the reindeer and then here this is has quickly become iconic mm -hmm. the little red truck dan, dan hughes red truck with the wreath on the front yeah. i love that wreath on the grill work and the christmas tree in the back it, there's a memory it still cracks me up valerie because nobody can ever plan what's going viral uh, and I still don't quite know what the term uh, social media influencer even means. <laughs> People get paid for that. I, I'm uh, learning too. <laughs> I, I shared a story with Valerie. How many years ago was it? Maybe three years oh ago? At, le at least three, Dan. Of, yeah. of my father and the mm -hmm. red truck. And the red truck. That, that would sit out in the barn until around September. Mm -hmm. And the truck has been in our family for... 70 years, almost 70 My. years. Wow. And you would tinker with it, get it started, get it fired up. And the whole goal and the reason for it was to take that truck to go cut down our Christmas tree. And it was a family tradition. I uh, love that. That truck is now in my barn and it's used every year to pick up the Christmas tree. And I told that oh. story to Valerie and she, she made a red truck for Christmas <laughs> and we put it on the air and it blew out. And this red truck has just become a thing and mm -hmm. uh, to see that in light that makes me smile oh I love it so much love it sweetest story ever Dan thank you for sharing that with all of us uh, by the way a, an update Frank I'm sorry I missed it the nativity uh, oh, the nativity piece is now gone so I'm gonna tuck that one off to the side I'll bring the red truck up here so we now have six different pieces the only one, uh, no, two, I'm sorry. The two that, that you brought back were the church. Are the red truck and the church. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, red truck and the church. And is the barn gone? Okay, there's 100 left in the horse barn that you've got, Valerie. So, okay. so here is the red truck. Uh, I'm sorry, this is Santa and the reindeer. The red truck, building a snowman. So sweet. Yeah. Town Square. I love that one. That's a wow, isn't 1500 it? 1500 remain of that. The church, wow. which I have from last year. And then here's our gingerbread house. 
That one, by the way, will ship now. All the others will ship on October 5th.